Hello and welcome to the September 2017 edition of Bunkum Monthly. We're coming to you from Pack Library today because it's raining outside to let you know about some great upcoming county events. Just to let you know, all the information I give you in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. While you're there, check out County Center for great county-related news articles, updates, and event information. Finally, you can watch this program or any of BCTV's great original productions online at buncombecounty.org slash bctv. Buncombe County Recreation Services is sponsoring a great fall event for all those young anglers out there. It's Lake Julian's semi-annual kids fishing tournament. It's taking place on Saturday, September 23rd at Lake Julian Park in Asheville beginning at 8.30 a.m. Registration will take place at the park at 8 a.m. The semi-annual event is open to all children aged 15 and under. The cost is $10 per child, which covers bait, snacks, and a hot dog lunch. Prizes will be given out to the biggest catch, smallest catch, and the most fish caught. This is a catch and release event, and participants must bring their own poles. For more information about the Kids Fishing Tournament or for more great events from Buncombe County Recreation Services, you can visit buncombecounty.org parks or check out their Facebook page, at facebook.com slash bunkum recreation. If you or a loved one are worried about developing breast cancer, just know the sooner you get diagnosed and receive treatment, the more likely you are to survive. The American Cancer Society recommends that women over the age of 40 get a mammogram every year. But if you have financial restrictions, Buncombe County has a great program for you. Ladies Night Out takes place the first Thursday of every month, so the next one is taking place Thursday, October 5th. It provides free mammograms and breast exams to women who are between the ages of 40 and 64, have limited income, have limited or no insurance, and who live in Buncombe County. BSEP, or the Breast and Cervical Cancer Control Program, helps to save lives of women through early detection. On site at the Ladies' Night Out, through BSEP and the Wise Woman Program, women will be able to get breast and cervical exams, pap smears, mammograms, blood pressure and cholesterol screenings, and health education and counseling. There is even an on-site child care for when you get your exam. For more information about Ladies' Night Out, BSEP, or the Wise Woman Program, visit buncombecounty.org slash HHS. Asheville Greenworks has a lot of great events coming up in September. In the beginning of the month, they have their WNC Big Sweep. In the middle of the month, they have their popular Hard to Recycle event. And at the end of the month, their fifth annual Root Ball. On Saturday, September 16th is the next Hard to Recycle event where you can bring out your dead batteries, TVs, electronics, small appliances, and more to be recycled. They're also accepting styrofoam, books, building supplies, and pet donations. It's taking place at Madden Ace Hardware at 2319 U.S. Highway 70 in Swannanoa from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. On Saturday, September 23rd from 6 to 10 p.m., Asheville Greenworks is sponsoring their Root Ball. It's a dance party by the river to celebrate, recognize, and enjoy our beautiful community. All proceeds from the event will go towards Greenworks' cleanup and greenup events. There will be live music, dancing, food, drinks, and a silent auction. Tickets are $25. For more information about either event or more from Asheville Greenworks, you can visit their website, AshevilleGreenworks.org. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs, cats, and more currently in need of a good home. Also, when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. Here are some pets that are currently available for adoption. Toothless has the ignore you trick down to an art. He's a four-year-old black domestic short hair who's just trying to play it cool, but he'll make a wonderful loving addition to your family. This is Clifford the Little Red Dog. He's a one-year-old male terrier pit bull mix. He loves the car, the trail, bike, bikers, hikers, you know, he's just kind of a happy-go-lucky guy. This sweet, gentle soul is Mojo. Mojo is a senior, a 15-year-old male domestic short hair who, like most senior cats, is calm, collective, and just looking for a cuddle buddy. This handsome guy is Ryder, a two-year-old male terrier pit bull Dalmatian mix. He just can't wait to get out and go for a walk with you. This five-month-old domestic short hair male is Manuel. He is what I would like to call a social watcher. Like if you have a conversation, his eyes will probably dart back and forth between the people speaking. Anyway, for a kitten, he seems pretty chill. 
Oh my gosh, look at that face. This is Cooper. She is a four-year-old terrier Airedale mix. She's friendly, she's laid back, and she'll make the perfect addition to your home. Simba is a four-year-old domestic short hair male, and he'll be the pride of your home. Normally I'd play some Lion King music, but it's kind of expensive. But he's a really sweet guy if you want to visit him at the shelter. Kay is somewhere between three and five years old. She's an Australian Shepherd Alaskan Husky mix. She looks a little timid, but she's sweet, patient, and great for seniors because she doesn't like to go for super long walks. Gabriella is a cute six-week-old domestic long hair kitten. Gabriella is a kitten, therefore Gabriella is kind of a spaz. So if you want hours of entertainment, she'll make the perfect roommate. Here we have Sergio, a two-year-old pit bull brindle mix. He has lots of energy. Foster parents say he loves to hike, work hard at his hike, and is a very sweet boy. He's not a big fan of his kennel, so he would be a wonderful addition to a home with some room to roam. Those are just a handful of the pets available at the Asheville Humane Society. To see them all, visit AshevilleHumane.org. Better yet, stop by and visit them in person. You'll get a better understanding of their personality that way. The Adoption Center is located at 14 Forever Friend Lane in Asheville. Hours throughout the summer are Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, you can call 828-761-2001. You'll reach new heights with the Council on Aging of Buncombe County's Over the Edge fundraiser. You're actually going to rappel down seven stories on a downtown Asheville building, all for the sake of the aging community of Buncombe County. It's taking place on Saturday, September 23rd at 23 North Market Street in downtown Asheville. It's limited to 92 participants, who are individuals who raise $1,000 to get the chance to go over the edge. Participants are invited to solicit donations from family, friends, and coworkers through an over-the-edge online giving site that can be personalized. Anyone can do it. $1,000 can fund 1,870 volunteer miles for the Council on Aging of Buncombe County, 211 meals, 10 ramps, 83 grab bars, 30 Medicare counseling sessions, and 20 hours of care management. If you're interested in taking part, visit coabc.org slash over the edge. If you have questions, feel free to contact Zoe Trout at 828-277-8288 or email zot at coabc.org. Since June, Buncombe County has put on three Lunch and Learns at the Stevens Lee Center. These discussions are on African American culture, history, and current issues faced in the community. Coming up, we have one more. It's on health care. It's taking place on Wednesday, September 27th, beginning at noon at the Stevens Lee Center, featuring Dr. Sharon West. Dr. West is the Women's Veterans Program Manager at the Department of Veteran Affairs, adjunct faculty at Mars Hill University for Bioethics and Transcultural Nursing, and was also appointed to the NC Public Health Commission by the Governor of North Carolina. There is no charge for the Lunch and Learn, and obviously lunch will be provided. So come and listen to the lecture series that will talk about the challenges, triumphs, and the future of health care for African Americans in Buncombe County. They ask that you please register for the event early. Mana Food Bank is bringing attention to the fact that September is Hunger Action Month with their Empty Bowls fundraiser. It's taking place on Monday, September 25th at the Doubletree by Hilton at 115 Hendersonville Road. The bowl that attendees will take home will remind them of all of the empty bowls in the world. This event sells out every year, so don't wait too long to get your tickets. Everything for the event is donated. The soup, the space, the desserts, and the over 1,000 handmade ceramic bowls. This allows for all of the profits to go directly towards feeding our neighbors facing hunger in Western North Carolina. If you're interested in taking part in the event, register today by visiting manafoodbank.org. WINCAP, the Western North Carolina AIDS Project, is joining forces with the Asheville Art Community for the 29th Annual Raise Your Hand Art Auction and Gala. It's taking place on Saturday, September 23rd at 6 p.m. at 291 Sweeten Creek Road in Asheville. WINCAP provides critical education programs for our community about HIV AIDS, advocacy, case management, and life-saving medical transportation. For more information about WINCAP, its services, or the Raise Your Hand auction and gala, you can visit wincap.org or give their offices a call at 828-252-7489. Did you know that Buncombe County has 12 branch libraries located throughout the county for your convenience? And also, you don't have to go there to just check out a book and read. They all sponsor many great events throughout the year. In fact, here are a few coming up in September. 
On Saturday, September 23rd at 11 a.m., Pack Memorial Library is hosting a mixed-level Pilates class. Certified instructor Alexis Miller will teach the fundamentals of Pilates. It's a whole-body workout to find strength, stretch, and control. No matter your age, gender, or physical ability, Miller will make it work for you. On Monday, September 25th at 7 p.m., the Black Mountain Library is hosting a book discussion with their Let's Talk About It series, featuring the book Time's Witness by Michael Malone. This program is possible from a grant from the NC Humanities Council and the Friends of the Black Mountain Library. On Wednesday, September 27th at 6 p.m., the North Asheville Library is hosting a discussion on cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Discover how to prevent the top three killers of Americans before these diseases strike. This program is free and the public is invited. Finally, on Wednesday, September 27th at 4 p.m., the Inca Candler Library is hosting a wildlife true or false game called Fact or Fiction. You'll be on your feet and moving around during this fun evening for ages 5 to 11. Kids will learn all about black bears, snakes, box turtles, and more wildlife local to our region. Now, those are just a handful of the events sponsored by the Buncombe County Public Library System. To see the full list, check out the calendar of events at buncombecounty.org library. The Asheville Museum of Science is constantly growing. Not only are they growing their exhibits throughout the year, but they also sponsor many great classes throughout the year, including their Saturday morning science series. Join them on Saturday, September 16th from 10 a.m. to noon in their STEM lab for the first Saturday morning science of the fall. In this drop-in style event, expert scientist and former NASA researcher Eric Vetteler will guide participants through activities in order to gain a deeper appreciation of the scale of things in space and that are close to Earth. You can also join them on Saturday, September 30th from 10 a.m. to noon to hear from expert chemist John Snover. Participants will explore energy and power, heat and the greenhouse effect, and green energy technologies. There will be hands-on activities such as producing and capturing carbon dioxide, modeling carbon dioxide molecules, and powering motors using only solar panels. Both of these events are for all ages. You're never too young or old to expand your scientific mind. For more information or more great events, check out AshevilleScience.org or give them a call at 828-254-7162. The Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church of Asheville is proudly presenting their upcoming Greek festival. From music, to culture, to especially food, you'll Greek out over all of their fun activities. It's taking place on Friday through Sunday, beginning September 22nd at the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church at 227 Cumberland Avenue in Asheville. Admission is free. Browse through the marketplace as if you were strolling through the cobblestone streets of the villages of Greece while catching a live performance of talented dancers. This event is where friends and family can come together to enjoy food, fellowship, dancing, and an all-around good time. Takeout is even available. For more information, you can call 828-253-3754 or visit holytrinityashville.com slash greek dash festival. The Buncombe County Soil and Water Conservation District is sponsoring an upcoming poster, essay, and public speaking contest. It's open to all ages, and the theme of the contest is Water, the Cycle of Life. The poster competition is for third through fifth graders, essay and slideshow contest for sixth graders, and the public speaking contest for seventh and eighth graders. You have until January 2018 to turn in your posters, so students and teachers should get their classes involved today. For more information about the soil, essay, and speech competition, you can visit Soil and Water's website at buncombecounty.org soil. You can also give their office a call at 828-250-4785. Pisca Legal Services, Homeward Bound, the Mountain Housing Authority, and the Asheville Area Habitat for Humanity are all sponsoring a community conversation about the housing crisis in Western North Carolina with a very special guest speaker. It's taking place on Thursday, September 28th, beginning at 5.30 p.m. for a reception and 7 p.m. for the forum. Dr. Matthew Desmond will be speaking. He is the Associate Professor of Social Sciences at Harvard University and the co-director of the Justice Poverty Project. His New York Times best-selling book, Evicted, Poverty and Profit in the American City, draws on years of embedded fieldwork and painstakingly gathered data. This is the seventh annual poverty forum put on by Pisca Legal Services. If you are interested in attending or would like more information, you can visit AshevilleHabitat.org. 
Well, Open Streets Asheville Share Your City 2017 is a great downtown event that promotes advocacy, wellness, and fun for the whole family. If you're a local runner, you definitely don't want to miss the Asheville Running Experience. It's five fun events over three days that take place all in the heart of downtown Asheville. It's taking place Friday, September 22nd through Sunday, September 24th. The events include the ARX Happening, which is a race expo and packet pickup like no other. It's a chance to meet sponsors, vendors, and socialize with other racers. Another event is the Asheville Half Marathon taking place that weekend, followed by the Superhero 5K, the Asheville Urban Odyssey, and the Chasing Trail 8K. Take part in one, two, or all of the events if you like. For more information or to register, you can visit AshevilleRunningExperience.com. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for joining us here at Pack Memorial Library. As I mentioned before, all of the events I mentioned in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. To watch this program again or to check out any of BCTV's great original programming, you can visit buncombecounty.org slash BCTV. Finally, stay up to date with county news and events. You can visit County Center at buncombecounty.org. Just click on the All News button from the homepage. Thanks for watching. Have a great September, and we'll see you in October, Buncombe County.